What is going on? It is Baron here. I know it's been a while. Now, today we're going to be doing sort of a review and my personal opinion on the VKB NXT Evo Premiums. Now, VKB have sent these to me and they've said that, you know, the review is mine to do and they're not going to intervene in any way. But the information that I need is there readily available for me as I can ask questions as needed. Now, through this as well, we're going to be going over... Um, the differences between this and the old gladiators, the improvements, the differences between the standards and the premiums. Now, I'm going to guess that you probably know a bit of this, but this is going to help. I thought about scripting this, but it's just better coming from straight from my mouth. Um, it's fresh on my memory. So, uh, you know, I've been sitting here for a while doing this and my birds attacking my hand, which is fantastic. So VKB have graciously sent me two VKB sticks, the left one being the Omni Throttle and the right one being the Premium Space Combat Edition Hand, which is really awesome. I didn't actually expect them to send that. I didn't actually expect premiums at all. They also sent a uh, GNX SEM, so it's a side extension module. Now, for my case, it's a little bit of a, um, a bit of a, it's in the way sometimes. So I can't actually put it on my right one because on the right one I have my mouse pad off to the side over the top of it and on the left one I can't really put it on, my, on the inside because it actually gets in the way of my legs with the whole um, like the chair build setup that I got from Monster Tech and that's not their fault it's just one of those things I have to get used to so I've put it on the left side of my left joystick and it's just something I have to get used to the only thing I've noticed um, the only issue I really had with it was that the flaps um, little toggle is getting in the way of the joystick and it's not really that noticeable um, and that's for the Omni throttle but again it's not really something that really bothers me all that much so if you have used VKB in the past you know that it is plastic and they are still great like they are fantastic six they are far from being like um, an opening beginner stick um, something like the thrust masters will be something for you if you want to go into entry level if you get something like this I do recommend you go and get some mount setups or try and make some mounts having them on your desk is a little bit um, counterintuitive at the same time I have a chair setup which is fantastic so I can go from my joysticks straight to my mouse and keyboard but I have been considering taking the keyboard part away from it and sort of just transitioning myself to the desk now now I do have some quick snap mounts so I can actually pull my joysticks back out of the way but again having my mouse and everything set up is just the way that it is at the moment so going into this we're going to go through what improvements well what they've put on the new evos and the differences between this and the old gladiators now I don't know if a lot of you know but on the new sticks they have put on a dampening system so there are dampeners on both pitch and roll axes uh, this would be helpful for helicopters or to use left hand joystick as a classic throttle um, it takes some of the, the you can take the spring off the pitch axes and you can tighten the dampers dampeners now I have actually gone ahead and tightened some of the dampeners with the springs on anyway I've left the springs on that I had on it originally that they came with and it sort of just helps with that resistance when you're going to push forward or if you're moving around in your ship generally and it just makes a lot of improvements if you know when you're moving around there's just that general resistance and the sticks go back to center quite slowly they don't go back straight away now again if you want to take the, the springs out that's completely up to you like I said it's they did mention that it's um, helpful for helicopters they have got a lot of quick start guides and how to do all this stuff I'm not going to be showing you that today but the differences between the old sticks and the new sticks is quite you know it's substantial um, I've noticed there's a different um, at the back of the sticks there are like uh, rollers some of the rollers on the new ones are different compared to the old ones and just general changes that I think that's pretty much the only thing they've changed on the base now going into the premium grips if you get the premium grips you get everything that the premium comes with you also get stuff that um, comes with the standards so if you don't want like a little thumb toggle that they've 
giving you on the premium so you have like several different axes and buttons on it you can go back and put it on the standards and it's completely up to you so the premium grip comes with the following extra features compared with the standard scg grip it comes with a rapid fire trigger and with a push and pull position so you've got a trigger at the front which is push and pull at the same time which actually makes it a little bit better if you want to um, make one trigger so you pull on it you can have one um, lot of weapons fire and then you can push it forward and then again have other weapons firing but again it's completely up to you how you like how you set all of this up I'm not telling you how to do it it's just something that is personal preference so the thumb 5w hat switch instead of a button so it's a hat which can go left right up down and you can push on it and it has all these different buttons where if you get the standards you just get a button pretty much that's it and it's it comes with the spare parts um there is also some spare parts that come with the sticks as well it's a little bit hard to go into but there are a lot of different wires a lot of different springs in there just a whole bunch of spares that i don't really know a, a terrible amount about um again like i said the hat um switch comes as a spare with the premiums which is fantastic i also recommend when you set these up make sure they're they're um configured and that you've got them calibrated properly just making sure that everything's working making sure all the buttons are in like the right synchronization making sure that everything is good the only problem i've had and it's not anything to do with vkb sim it's probably the way i've calibrated it or something is that my landing gear uh toggle button won't really use like work on my landing gears which is a little bit of a a bit of a um a downer but again it's nothing to do with them it's probably me and my calibration now I, going forward there's on the side extension module we have four different modes on this little toggle which i've set mine up for um scanning modes i've set it up for bombing mode i've set it up for missile mode so i can change it and then i have these two buttons called sw1 and sw2 which i use to toggle and change the um the depth for the bombs so that i can um uh, it's like your depth of field really for your bombing runs and then for my missiles i've got it so that i change the amount of missiles i have whichever miss missiles i want to change to and then i have mining mode set up i think i have um salvaging mode set up so i can change through the different heads and do my different functions which is fantastic there's so many different buttons on here there's a start button so i've got two other buttons that can shut off different parts of the ship uh open up different doors lock the ship unlock the ship there's just so many friggin buttons i think i need to take a photo of my actual sticks when i go to calibrate them and set up all the different um buttons so that i know what they are and then i can post them online so people can see how i've set them up but again there's always a better setup and i think it's all down to personal preference on how you want your sticks set up and calibrated so i wouldn't always go and copy someone else now the actual initial construction of these sticks is quite simple there's a little cable though that goes from the actual joystick down to the base module um, it's something that i would be very careful with I did have some sticks in the past that um, I got and I had to actually change the cables on them and feeding them through to the base module is a little bit difficult and make sure your stick is screwed into the base module and don't pull on it because that would actually then continue to tear the cable and pull off the little plugs on it. I myself have gotten more cables um, like little wires and I've gotten all the um, the cable ex like attachments I got some extra PCBs a while ago from VKB Australia which was fantastic so I have some spares in case the um, my um, little chipboards inside go and have a little a few issues or if something breaks on them I've just got a replacement there it just makes my life a little bit easier but going into like everything i've had vkbs for quite some time now i was quite set on having verpals and you know i would still love to have verpals in the future but since i've gotten this from vkb it's still something that i'm very much happy with i don't see any issues with vkb i've never really had any issues with my sticks i've i think the only thing i had with my old ones is that there was a little bit of drift with one of the sticks and that was simply fixed like i just had to dismount the, the actual um, stick and then i had to turn it upside down to go into the base module and i just had to make sure it was uh, i think i can't remember what it was it might have been 
a little bit of a screw that had a bit of an issue so I just had to mess around with it and it was simple I just found the answers on their forums so again I wouldn't go crazy with sticks if you want to have a, a simple stick the Gladiator NXTs are really great if you want the premiums I would go from them go for them if an Omni throttle is for you um, the comfortability of it is quite it's quite nice um, I you know I still I wouldn't mind having two upright sticks but again the Omni throttle is something that is great you could probably just take the Omni throttle mount off and then turn it into a normal joystick but again I actually don't mind it it's kind of nice having the change to an Omni throttle I heard a lot of people talking about it and I didn't really think too much of it and then I tried it myself and I thought you know it's actually not that bad I didn't didn't mind using it at all and the it's actually quite unique um, the way that you know they got it set up the wires are all internal where some of the if you had a 3d printed one the wires would go external sometimes and that can be a bit of an issue with that that little wire as I had mentioned before but continuing on I, I still love these sticks they're fantastic I've had these sticks for quite some time this is my review my opinion I absolutely recommend getting these if you have the money get them they are very affordable um, and at the same time you need to be committed to the game or other games that use these sticks as well so keep that in your mind let me know down in the comments if you've had these sticks for a while if you use other sticks or just help people down in the comments and give them your opinion as well but again it's at the end of the day it's all about you and what you want and I hope this helped I'll see you in the verse peace